Hello, welcome, and today we are going to learn about the different isotopes of the element sulfur. Let's get started, shall we? Now, this is a normal sulfur atom. It has 16 neutrons, protons, and electrons, like normal. However, the question we want to ask is, how is this different from an isotope? Well, isotopes are different from normal atoms in that they have a different number of neutrons than protons. However, while the neutrons will change around whenever, the protons are constant. They define the atom, so they will never change. For example, here is sulfur-33, an isotope. Now the key difference here is that sulfur-33 has 17 neutrons as opposed to 16 protons, which bumps up its atomic mass to 33 as opposed to 32. Isotopes can come as either stable or unstable. Now the ones here are stable, but unstable ones will disintegrate at a steady rate. Here is sulfur-34, which has 18 neutrons instead of 16. Now this increases the atomic mass of that atom to 34. This may seem like it just affects the atom itself, but it actually affects a lot more. Since isotopes appear naturally in the universe, they need to be included with the normal atoms. This means that their atomic mass will affect the whole average atomic mass of the element. To cap things up, I've brought out the isotope sulfur-36. Sulfur-36 has 20 neutrons as opposed to the normal 16, which makes it officially an isotope. It's stable, which means we don't have to worry about being near it. Its atomic mass has been brought up to 36, which will slightly increase the average mass of the element sulfur, based on how frequently it appears in the universe. This presentation was brought to you by Laura Biasco, Julian Malaby, and Hunter Zhu. Thanks for watching, everyone. Ooh, pretty.